We are studying the chapter based on halo alkanes and halo arenes, and the next topic in the chapter is their physical and their chemical properties. We'll take up the first section, the physical properties of halo alkanes and halo arenes. The first physical property that we'll talk about is their physical state. How do they exist? Do they exist as solids, liquids, or gases? Then we'll take a look at their color if they have a color. And then let's see if they have an odor, if they have a smell, what kind of a smell these halo alkanes and halorenes have, right? First point you need to remember here is that lower members, what do we understand by lower members here? With lesser number of carbon atoms, right? Lower members of this family, families of halo alkanes and halorenes like methyl chloride, uh, methyl bromide, whatever the X, we'll be just talking about methyl and ethyl chlorides, yeah, ethyl, methyl and ethyl halides. Those will be the lower members. These lower members, they exist as gases at room temperature, right? At room temperature, the physical state is that they will exist as gases, whereas higher members members in which there is a higher number of carbon atoms higher members they exist as solids right this is their physical state depending on the number of carbon atoms they can be gases or they can be solids <laughs> the second thing is that alkyl halides in general alkyl halides in general are colorless they do not have any specific color except jo iodides hote hain if the halogen atom present is an iodine if iodides and bromides jo hain ye bhi under normal conditions colored nahi hote under room temperature they are also colorless but if you expose them to light they develop color actually inki thermal stability kam hoti hai and because of that when they are exposed to light they basically undergo decomposition and because of that decomposition they can show shades of brown or shades of purple right so you can still say alkyl halides in general are colorless iodides and bromides develop a shade of brown or a shade of purple only when exposed to light right the third point about this physical state color and odor we'll have to speak about their smell and it is known that many volatile halogen compounds otherwise they do not have any specific smell they show smell only if they are volatile some of the volatile halogen compounds they have a sweet smell it's kind of a typical thing to understand sweet generally is a taste but kind of that sweet smell something like rosy sweet and if the halogen compound is volatile then only you can smell it right now the next physical property is very important we generally speak about chemical properties with much more seriousness and physical properties we do not take that seriously but the second physical property here is very very important and that second physical property is melting points and boiling points and we'll be first taking up 2a and our 2a is halo alkanes we'll separately study about the changes or trends in the melting points and boiling points of halo alkenes halo alkanes sorry and halo arenes right now what is a halo alkane a halo alkane is a halogen derivative of an alkane right and you have derived it how you have replaced a hydrogen atom by a, an atom of chlorine or a bromine or an iodine right and it has been observed that boiling points of these halo alkanes they are higher than their parent hydrocarbons we we'll look into the details of these but the first point is a generalization that boiling points as well as melting points in fact they are seen 
they have been see, it has been observed that their boiling points and melting points are higher than their parent hydrocarbons than the hydrocarbon you derive them from why the reason is again the nature of the cx bond it is a polar bond we have a negative pole here we have a positive pole here and the dominant parameter in determining the boiling points and melting points is the intermolecular interaction जितनी स्ट्रांग होंगी ये इंटर मोलिकुलर इंटरक्शन उतना ही हाई होता है बॉइलिंग पॉइंट एंड मेल्टिंग पॉइंट सिंस द मोलिक्यूल हैज अ पोलर बॉन्ड बिटवीन द नेगेटिव पोल ऑफ वन मोलिक्यूल एंड द पॉजिटिव पोल ऑफ एनदर मोलिक्यूल देर विल बी डाइपोल डाइपोल इंटरक्शन देर आर इनफ इंटर मोलिकुलर इंटरक्शन बिकॉज ऑफ विच बॉइलिंग पॉइंट एंड मेल्टिंग पॉइंट ऑफ हेलो अल्केन्स आर हायर दैन देर पेरेंट हाइड्रो कार्बन्स राइट now we have a few examples here and we we'll learn down we we'll learn the trends how this melting and boiling point changes for example i will write down the first point ch4 methane it's the parent hydrocarbon we can derive a fluoromethane from it we can derive a chloromethane from it we can derive a bromomethane from it we can derive an iodomethane from it right and if we write down their boiling points which we express in kelvin the values are like this methane is 111 fluoromethane is 195 chloro is 249 bromo is 277 and iodo is 315 Now look at this. First thing you observe is कि जितने भी ये derivatives है इन सब का boiling point is higher than the parent which is methane. Now it is higher than the methane than the parent hydrocarbon. फिर आपस में क्या trend है Alkyl group is the same. In all of them alkyl group is CH3. What is changing? X atom. The size is increasing from fluorine to iodine. Thus we can have a generalization here that boiling point increases with the increase in the size of X atom. Right? The first generalization boiling point increases with increase in the size of x atom for the same r group even though r is the same in all of them all of them are alkyl sorry methyl derivatives but since the size of x increases boiling point also increases in general you can write down this point as the trend in the boiling point is r i greater than r b r which is greater than r c l which is greater than r f right now the second point to remember here is i will again write down a few examples a few derivatives of uh, uh, alkenes the first one would be ch3cl again chloromethane the second one is ch3 ch2cl chloroethane right the next one is ch3 ch2 whole twice cl three carbon atoms chloropropane and the last one we'll write down as ch3 ch2 whole three cl chlorobutane three and one is four and again if we write down the values of the boiling point which is expressed in kelvin this is 249 jo humne pehle order mein bhi likha this is 285.5 this is 320 and this is 351 this is greater than this which is greater than this which is greater than this from this example from this order we can have another generalization for the same halogen atom now in this example halogen atom is chlorine in all of them for same x atom what happens boiling point increases with 
increase in the size of r group in this example we have increased the size of r group we moved from one carbon atom to two carbon atoms to three carbon atoms to four carbon atoms so as you studied previously in the previous example r is same it increases with the increase in the size of x group similarly if x is same boiling point increases with the increase in the size of the alkyl group we'll continue in the next presentation